Put the ball in the hands of JR. Nicely behind the back. Zips that pass to Mo Williams. The bottom for three. JR Smith making his presence felt right away. Beats the Doing a good job of using the little pick and pop. Mo, he got a big advantage. Mo jumps and hits it. Doing a good job, Fred. He is so good at scoring in the transition. He got him a bird. A netto bird. And knocks it down. Hits it for three. Beautiful looking stroke he's had tonight. Yes, it does. Reverse Moving style. that ball, Fred, and using the back pitch. Mo Williams a long three. Can't miss. A Ooh. six pack for Mo Williams. Mo Williams is on fire in the queue. Well, the way Mo has played tonight, I would think he's going to be our guy taking the shot. Squad stand up. If you are somebody that likes to use Steph Curry, but you just started my team and you have maybe 1000 MT, that's almost enough to go ahead and get yourself a Sapphire Mo Williams. His key stats are as straightforward as possible speedy as fuck with the ball and shoot. That is just about it. Also, he comes with actually great badges to start on a Sapphire card. Just great badges in general because these badges are expensive. So before I jump into our gameplay with him, let me tell you guys why I feel like this man is a hidden gem. Is him dribble moves. It's always been his dribble moves. Even before dribble combos were a thing in 2K, Mo Williams had great dribble moves in 2K. That's why I say he might as well be just like a Steph for you because he'll do the same exact things. He has the Monte Ellis size up. He has that super space creating behind the back. And then he even has that Damian Lillard size up back gather that you can catch people with if done properly so on 19 mid range at 86 three pointer at 88 shot close and a 93 speed with ball with these animations i'm sorry for less than 2000 mt that's one of the best hidden gems in the game that you can find so in games the first thing you probably might notice about him is he gets fucking hacked out of his mind i don't know why he gets so many free throws his draw fall isn't even that high but i always find myself averaging like 10 points with him off the bench at the free throw line and whenever i'm squad building just for some lulls just use some new people that i don't usually use i always bring him off of the bench because he makes annoying plays like that shit off of the bench and he's just a bucket getter he will randomly come off of your bench and just carry your team for a good couple minutes stretch it's always good to have people like that on your bench when playing my team online look at this 11 points in seven minutes and almost all of it is coming at the free throw line it makes no sense but if you're wondering yes he does have the same form he has always had in all these 2ks the easiest green release that you can imagine and then he does have the mid range and deep range dead eye badges so you're just going to hit more contested shots than usual as far as how he gets most of his points for me anyway it's usually fast break pull ups when the defense isn't set yet like this exact clip is a great example of it in the half court setting i don't usually try to score with him i actually just try to abuse with his dribble moves because if you know to use his moves nobody's going to guard you on ball and even off ball it should be a bit of a task and when you abuse somebody in that sense you're just making the play for the next guy because if you force a double or force a collapse guess what somebody is open and then Mo is just going to get that assist. Speaking of assists, his actual passing animations caught me off guard. I didn't know they would have been as good as they were. There were two passes specifically in this video. Like, look at the play that I just did. Rewind this. Look at this. I'm rushing down court at him. Have him on his heels. Hit him with that pullback animation that he has. Go by. The on ball is basically lost at this point. I drew the double, and then that's a mid range pull up. That is what Mo is going to do in the half court for you. Get his moves down. And now, other than the fact that Mo was just unnaturally clutch as a player, because he wasn't a star but he was just clutch as shit he has quite a few game winners in his life his 91 free throw rating will probably be an underrated stat for him because when you're in close games and you just need somebody to play the free throw game real quick bring him in and he's dropping all of them did you even say that pass let me ask you that question that shit was smooth in rhythm a nice little drop pass that nobody on the break even saw and it was a gg but that's about all i can give you in regards to this mo williams card from his animations to his stats to him playing in a game he's as hidden jimmy as it's going to get when you take a look at his price and that's really about it yo he and the terrence ross from a dropping 50 collection should be dynamic duo paired together just cause